Will Carnival stocks bounce back? I'm going to give you the latest on this rebound stock. Dude, every time I do that, my toe cramps. Welcome to The Money Show. I'm Bailey. Today, I'm going to talk about the Carnival Cruise stock. If you've ever thought about going on vacation or have in the past, Carnival was probably involved. Carnival Cruise Line is an international cruise line with headquarters in Doral, Florida. It is listed first on the list of largest cruise lines based on passengers carried annually and total number of ships in fleet. Carnival owns nine cruise lines and has a combined fleet of over 100 ships. However, amid the COVID pandemic cruise freeze, the company is getting rid of less efficient ships. COVID has affected many industries. The airline took a huge hit, but one that nobody really thinks about is the cruise lines. Um, Carnival was one of the ones that took a huge hit from COVID-19. Since the pandemic started back in January of 2020, Carnival stock price has dropped from an all-time high of $51.90 to an all-time low of $7.97 per share. After that all-time low, the stock price went back up to $24.91 in mid-June. Today, October 8th, Carnival stock price closed at $15.74 a share. Many people refer to Carnival as a rebound stock, meaning that once this COVID pandemic ends, things will resume and be back to normal and the stock price should do the same. Although many people purchased this stock with this mentality, extended regulations and ban on future cruises have delayed the stock in returning to its original price before the pandemic hit. So what are they currently doing now with their large fleet of ships, and what are they planning on doing in the future? As of today, Carnival Cruise Lines has canceled all departures into the spring of 2021. In mid-September, Carnival said it would be selling 18 ships, or 20% of its fleet. That's up from 15 ships that Carnival said it would be selling back in July. The freeze-up on ships has given this company the chance to replace less efficient ships with newer models. These newer models of ships include eco-friendly technologies, which is great for eco-conscious passengers and investors. These new eco-friendly ships will also include larger sources of entertainment, such as Shaq's Big Chicken Restaurant, expanded water parks, and even the first seaborne roller coaster. With all these new exciting and eco-friendly ideas, and even a November of 2022 delivery date for liquefied natural gas powered ships, you have to wonder where the company sits at financially. According to Carnival's quarterly results, they had an adjusted net loss of $3.30 per share. That's compared to a 66 cents earnings per share in the same quarter a year earlier. To put into perspective how much of a financial toll this pandemic pandemic has had on Carnival Cruise Lines. Let's look at their total revenue. In 2019, Carnival had a total revenue of $4.8 billion, while in 2020, their total revenue is only $700 million. In addition to this, Carnival ended the quarter with $7.6 billion in available liquidity. Carnival is also holding $2.9 billion in customer deposits and expects to build its liquidity through refinancing existing debt. With no revenue coming in currently, and also no say as to when things will return to normal, Carnival Cruise Lines currently has no earnings forecast. Looking at the company's previous stock history and its current standings financially, it's impossible to tell when when the stock could bounce back. This is why I think Carnival stock price is only for risk adverse investors. Since there's no saying when the end of the COVID-19 pandemic will be, there's no saying when these cruise lines will be able to open and run again. Also, with no current revenue coming in and administrative costs totaling around $250 million per month, Carnival has been forced to refinance assets and also sell 20% of its fleet. If Carnival were forced to repeat this pattern, I don't think they'll ever go back to the company they once were and neither will their stock price. Thank you for watching The Money Show on Holton Wise TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can keep seeing me and let us know your thoughts and comments below and make sure you stay tuned so we can help you get your money right. <laughs> Updates on this stock. My toe cramps, time out. <laughs> Dude, every time I do that, my toe cramps. <sighs>
and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.